Sam, can I join you? If you have to. How did it go with Ben? What's it to you? Well, you said who told you to sort him out, and I was just wondering. He needs to learn a bit more respect. Oh. Oh, it didn't go too well, then. Must have been quite a surprise, Phil, calling you out of the blue. Not really. Phil can rely on me for anything. What? Well, let's take a little trip down memory lane, shall we? Phil entrusts you with his business, and you burn half of it and sell the rest. I'm surprised he trusts you with a box of tissues, let alone dealing with Ben. What's going on with you and Phil, eh? Because I notice stuff. And you and Kat had way different reactions to Phil calling me back in. You know what Ben's done, don't you? I stopped caring about Ben when I divorced Phil. And what about caring for Phil? Are you having conjugals behind Kat's back? Don't be disgusting. Oh, I'll tell you what's disgusting, shall I? I mean, how about you? Sleeping with one brother one night and the other the you next. You should be locked up for what you did to my dad. Oh, God. Yes. Den, the great romancer. Now, I tell you, who was a good lover. Dennis. Now, he made me feel like I was the most important woman in the world. <laughs> We've had Brexit and COVID. We don't need you here. Go home, Sam. The name Jonah mean anything? Yeah. Yeah, I figured it was a big deal. Phil's got me meeting him tomorrow. Are you sure he said Jonah? He's a serious player. Shows you how much faith he's got in me. Ben deals with Jonah. No. Not anymore. I'm going nowhere, love. So you better start playing nice. I know a bitch with a secret when I see one. Something you should know about me, sweetheart. I don't play so nice these days. Cross me, and I'll put you down.